things. But why not just tell them that we have a right to be here and go on your way? I, you I'm trying here? to, but you're not letting me. Please. Lock the door. You're, you're not letting me do my job, man. How can I prevent you? You're a sergeant. You have a gun. This, this is, is public, open. right? This is not open to the public, sir. Why isn't that? Can you please leave? Is there a dismiss? Oh, hey! Shout out Angry Vet Audits. Got you. Never like those guys. Or the police. Yo, body cam off so my camera stays on. Crooked ass cops won't like this song. Gotta film the police when they do something wrong. I'ma film the police when they do something wrong. What's up, everybody? This is Angry Vet Audits, and I'm out here at Hayward Unified School District Corporation Yard and Warehouse in Hayward, California with Anthony X. We're here to see if the public employees respect our rights to peacefully film in public. Mount up and get ready for the ride. Parking, no liability. Salesperson's not allowed, tobacco. No public parking, tobacco free. Let's go check it out. I don't see any no trespassing sign. Sir, you can't come on. This is actually not open to the public. Thank you. Who are you? I don't have to tell you that. Uh, you okay, who are you to tell me something? This, this is, is public, open. right? This is not open to the public, sir. Why isn't that? Can you please leave? Is there a sign saying that? This is not open to the public. That side is. is there this a, side is not. Can you is please there leave? a sign that says that? So this is Hayward Maintenance and Operations. Uh, the police, if somebody doesn't help me out, because I feel very uncomfortable. Oh, I'm not here to. Uh, you're the one talking to me, ma'am. I'm not here to. Private property, sir. This is not private property. This is public property, ma'am. This is not open to the public on this side, sir. Ma'am, who owns this if it's private? The public owns it, right? The people. Tax money buys this. This is public land. So she said she was going to call the police here. She didn't want to identify herself. Oh, now she, I think she's calling some of the cops. They didn't want to identify herself, but she wants to give directives to the public. So here we go. We got uh, no private vehicles beyond this point, restricted area. No private vehicles, so private vehicles are restricted. We got the school buses out here. Uh, the guy filling up some gas can. This looks like some sort of office here. Can you guys leave, please? You're harassing me now. I am feeling very uncomfortable. Uh, 24400 Amador Street, the uh, bus parking lot. I have two gentlemen here filming me, making me feel very unsafe and harassing me. Peacefully taking pictures? There are two gentlemen right now. They're called the First Amendment Auditors on YouTube. And they are that's filming me right now. I'm not, that's not me. And I feel harassed and I feel unsafe. They were just across the street at our parking lot. They are standing less than five feet from me. Can With a car in between us. A Come car on, in between us, ma'am. Come on, ma'am. Be, be forthcoming. Ma'am, don't paint a picture that is going to make you look bad, all right? So we got our thumbnail now, guys. We're ready. Well, I need that thumbnail. Smile for the thumbnail, ma'am. Uh, Little thumbs up. Oh, that's perfect because it's right in front of maintenance and operations sign. Oh, I put that right there. Her, oh, now she's doing the fake crying. But before before she was yelling at me. Go away and leave me alone. Yes. Hello. How's it going? I get your name and position here. 
Yeah, so my name is Miguel. I'm director of facilities here with the district. Excellent. How's it going, Miguel? It's going well. So, you know, I may have been aware you guys, you know, want kind of to view the facilities, which is fine. Yeah. I think the only issue is that staff is unaware, and normally there's a kind of a check-in process. Maybe uh, just a recommendation to okay. help us out. Maybe let them, let them know that we're here so they can be aware. Got it. Okay. Can you she guys give me... She said that. We're First Amendment auditors. I'm not sure what yeah, that she, is. Yeah, she knows so, that. But it sounds like she's... Uh -huh. I mean, I've never heard of a First Amendment auditor hurting someone with a camera. Yeah, no, 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 and I get it, right? We want to be respectful of everybody's rights. Picture, like, like we're here to harm her. Yeah, some trouble at the door yeah. there. So just keep in mind, right? You know, obviously from a safety standpoint, everybody wants to ensure that those that have authorization. Okay, ma'am, uh, Miguel, I gotta listen to this phone call because she's already telling some false information, exaggerating. Can you please leave me alone? Now you're harassing me. Leave me alone. You need to leave me alone. They need to leave me alone. Ma'am, you came up to me. I didn't come up to you. You walked up to us. You walked up to me. Go away, please. No one else said anything to me but you, ma'am. And now you're calling the police. I'm going to document the call. Go away! You're harassing me! I feel unsafe with you here! Ma'am, there's a vehicle between us. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just merely documenting your phone call. Yeah. So, so, and I guess I can do that. I think right now it's just, you know, those that, you know, work in these spaces on a daily basis. Miguel, I would start yeah. informing these people instead of explaining us. We already know the deal. Yeah. You need to start talking to these employees, no, Miguel. No, that's a good point. <laughs> like, to me, yeah. it seems like you're wasting a little breath here. She's over there. Doing no, that. She, yeah. She's so scared. I would, I would try and console her yeah. and, you know, try and calm her down a bit yeah, because yeah. she's over there. Of water. So I yeah. appreciate your recommendation, but I, I can tell you, oh, okay. you know, there's a lot of these areas that Yeah, you're going to do it your way. Yeah, I yeah, understand. Yeah, we're not, yeah, we're not, not I'm not telling you what to do. I can't hop fences or anything crazy. If it has a restriction. Yeah, if it has a sign saying restricted, you know, access or staff only. So it's pretty dangerous, but I don't see anybody wearing hard hats or steel toe shoes. Uh, I don't know how dangerous it is. I wasn't talking to you, Miguel. Is that required in here or no? I'm sorry? Is that required in here? Uh, no, it's not. Can you leave me alone, please? Go away. Ma'am, I just want to tell you, no, no one is going to do you harm. No one is going to do you harm, ma'am. Um, not around these guys, no, because I feel harassed and I feel unsafe. I'm just trying to go do my job. Go do your job. Go do your job. Well, when you get in my face... Go to your job. Do no it. one's in your face. Yes. Yeah, so, so I can, I can escort you. Look, I'm going to back yes. up. I'm going to back they up. Came on to the, they there. came onto the bus side property, and they won't... Mm -hmm. Miguel, look, it, I'm back up to be nice. To give her... No, it's just, you know... Miguel, I'm standing behind the vehicle. She's safe, right? I'll... I'll... They stopped me from going across the street because they got in my way, and now they're videoing me, and they're harassing me, and I don't feel comfortable now. No. Is there anything you do to help? Um, I would like to them for them to stop and then so I can go do my job without feeling harassed. So you're going to cross the street? Yeah, I had to go pick up a bunch of stuff and come go back. Go across the street then. No one's stopping you. So, so maybe I can explain in your work area kind of what's going on. Why don't you stay here if she has to go across the street? No, no, nobody's asking that you speak with them. First she started That's yelling funny. very angrily. Well, like, why? And then when I didn't listen to her, then she started the whole sob story. And now you guys are saying false stuff. You guys it's are just on camera, doing ma'am. For camera. views and for money. Camera doesn't lie. Ma'am, you were saying you felt threatened when there was a whole car between us. So guys, I think you know some space might be available. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at least six feet. I just want to make sure she's not saying any false yeah. accusations. I would just want to make sure the police aren't going to come on high alert, guns drawn, maybe a dog, and try and hurt us.
Oh, it is a kitty cat. I hope you guys are proud of yourselves. We are. This guy's saying action over here. Yeah, action. action. One more time, please. The there we go. Perfect. Heck yeah. Got it? You gotta have such a humor. I like it. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. No, and, and I share it with you guys, right? Like, oh, yeah, you guys you want to access to certain it. areas, I can open it up for you. Well, you I think the piece that's missing is uh, working staff doesn't know who you are. So I think it would help, right, if proactively you guys said to maybe inform them? Yeah, I certainly you're can. You're still standing here. No, I certainly can. It's just when you do it on the fly and people are startled, well, right, you're trying to be supportive. He's interacting with us. Come on, man. He's having a good time. No, no, no. I'm not here to do a back and forth. I'm just sharing, right? We're going to figure it out and kind of go from there. Gotcha. All right. Miguel, I think you have it figured out, but you just haven't started putting it into action. Appreciate your feedback. You know, you said the employees are not, <laughs> not informed, but you haven't been informing them, Miguel. So guys, anyone can implement, how do you say, anyone can have an idea. But if you don't take the action. A good manager is the one who implements those ideas. Got it. Appreciate your opinion. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would say it's a, a lot of people's opinions, Miguel. Not just our opinion. This is a nice, like nice little vehicle. Time. I think he was mocking us, honestly. I don't think he was doing that to make friends. So, Miguel kept saying that he needs the, a chance to inform the people, but he's just talking to the same people right there. Hopefully no people cause disruptions for us filming over here because Miguel failed to do his job. As you can see. Right over there. Right there is Miguel. Try group ink. That looks like private. But if it's on a public. They might have like contracts. Uh, sure. Contracts? Should we check? That does look like a private sign though, huh? Like they might share the yard, you never know. The whole yard doesn't have anyone else's name though. Yeah. Like, I think they're contracted. Or maybe like property management? Oh, yeah, look. Measure H. That's government when you vote on measures. Oh, okay. Well, Let's go check it out. Sometimes see stuff that I don't see. Oof. The Tri Group Incorporated. Get some business cards oh, here. Perfect. All right. So hello. this is Measure age. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Hi. How are you doing? Well, man, it's warm in here. You need an air conditioner. Brother. I know. Oh, yeah? Woo. Just taking your little lunch time? Yeah. Excellent. So, measure eight. eight. What are you measuring? To provide safe, measure modern eight. schools, eight. upgrade aging classrooms and school facilities, upgrade classroom technology. So, 
That's what a money you? issued, huh? What, what, oh, what are you measuring? Oh, let me get your name tag real quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. contractor. Yeah. Contractor. No, it's a conference room. I sit out here. Oh, okay. What do you guys need? Oh, nothing. We're just checking out the yeah. No, no, no. Hold on you can you measure? This is measure H, right? You guys yeah, are yeah, project. What are you the project and plan. What are you here for? Do you have a name ID? That's you. Yeah. What are you guys here for? Who are you? What that? The TCS. Who are you? Can you show us a what would you like to project? See? No, no. What do you guys? What do you want to show you something? Oh, one at a time. Hold on. So, what would you like to see? You need to show who you are, what you're doing. I'm a person. How else can I prove it, sir? You guys with the school district? Well, I can't answer personal questions like that. That'd be kind of confidential. I know, but where are you guys from? I mean, I'm from uh, Planet France, Earth. Yeah. Okay, you have to be serious, or are you going to be Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, a, no, seriously, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a guy with a camera walking around a public I'm building. I'm just here to record now. The public building. It's, it's, there's literally, no, so hold on. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. At the other door over there, there's literally a sign that says, please use other door. Yeah. There's a sign that says, use other door. I'm assuming, why would it not be public? It, it doesn't say I private. I know, but where are you guys filming what are, No, so, no here, seriously, hear right. me out. All right. You have business cards here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming we're those here. are for we're members here. of the public. Yeah, we're here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But what are you guys here for? Miguel, Miguel knows we're here. Miguel knows we're here. Miguel knows we're here. Okay, well, you don't know anything about it. That's what I'm saying. Who are you? Hello. Good to see you. Who are you? Uh, could I get your name and position here? Pardon me? Can I get your name and position here? What's You're working on the Project H manager, right? Sorry? Sorry? You're working on Project H? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, measure H. Excellent. Who are you? Well, I'm just here, you know, recording. Are you, are you photographing me? Yeah. Yeah, Your yeah. Name is, introduce yourself. Uh, uh, what's your, you didn't introduce yourself. I asked you your well, name. I, I'm working. I'm obviously I'm working. Well, working. well what's your name? <clears throat> introduce yourself. Okay. Very well, very well. I'm not here to bother you. Just carry on. But, but no, but you're out. You say you want to see something. What do you want to see? Okay, well, don't delete that. Don't worry about it. I am worried about it. That's my don't record now. It. Yeah, that's public. my record too. You're going to be committing a crime if you delete yeah. that. I don't so, work for you actually, so this is not yours. I don't work for you too. Yeah, actually, you do. Well, then show you get, me. You get tax dollars, do you not? Sir, yeah, you just yeah, took yeah. a photo. I have it documented. Yeah. Don't delete that. If he deletes it, you're contracted you know, with the government yeah. right now. Yeah. It's a criminal offense to delete yeah, yeah, public yeah. records. Any I'm pictures or stuff like that you Why make is a public police? record. You've I just created a public record. They know we're here. Yeah. You don't think no. they know we're here? But they didn't let us know. Like, we're, well, we're, we're, we're here, Karen. So, what's I the mean, point of letting ev you know every time there's an inspection? We know Miguel. I apologize, because Miguel, he said he was going to inform everyone that we're here. Yeah, and he did. But he's having a meeting across the street. Yeah, he knows we're here. He said he was going to inform. So he did it. That's unfortunately, well, you did not say. say I'm talking with her. Sir. You did not say sir. what do you want to do Fine, here. So what we know, you could come here and steal everything. No, we don't know so so you, you need to say we're here, here to do something. So you think I would come in here with a camera yeah, of course. recording? Oh, while yeah, yeah, absolutely. Something? That would be yes. very smart of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Miguel's just right. outside. You could probably wave him down. Oh no, 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 no! I'm just trying to. Miguel didn't let us know, so we we don't know. We don't. He's kind of how do you say neglecting his job. Then he said he was going to let everybody know. But if you do, we don't know anything, so I'm trying to get a hold of the secretary. No, you're already like the third person that had no idea about what we're doing. Hello. Oh, hey guys, it's Michael. It's hey. Michael's back. I'm back. Hey, no yeah. touchy feely, Michael. Keep hey, those Jim. hands to yourself. Are you in the office? So Miguel, are you oh, in the office? Oh, Miguel has some two guys who are filming. I don't know who they are. He said he, he was going to let everybody know, know. To let us know who he they are. He did say that. He was out in the parking lot. You could talk to him. There's two guys here filming. We don't. They're not telling us where they're from. And he's at Miguel's. I'm from that they're no, okay. No, I'm not going to say anything. That they're okay. Yeah, that what are you doing here? To Why film are you here? The, to we're filming. We're recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking video and audio. He said he talked to you. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Okay. Thank you. Okay. From Earth. They want. Does he want to know from the school district? She wants to know where you're from. That's personal. I don't get into personal. He's not letting us know. He said it's personal. I'm talking to Jen McGriff. She wants all this information. She didn't even identify herself. Oh, we had the business card now. Jen McGriff, guys. Jen McGriff. Jen McGriff. Hey, I got a little control. Don't worry. Sir, back to work. Back to work, sir. Nicolo. So good. You've been very how how. Can you be polite? I mean, what's what's. Yeah, we don't we don't know this. I know, but we don't know. 
Right, this is his workspace here. Excellent. Oh, you don't have one of those stand-up desks like the other guy? It's a little better for your back up here. I do. Oh, you do? Yeah, I should be filming Where's it at? Oh, right there. There you go. Oh, I guess I'm not too observant. Thank you for pointing it out. That's what Michael said before when we were reporting. That's, is it not true that that's why we're reporting because we don't have anything better to do with our lives according to Michael? Oh, she said the same thing? No, Michael did. Oh, Michael. Michael. Yeah, Michael did this, say that. <laughs> There you go, guys. Right. So we got a business card right there. I get so rude, guys. You should learn how to properly. Sir, you're, you're dismissed. Yeah. Work, Sir, you're, you're getting belligerent. This guy is pretty cool. He just waved at me. Said, good job. Did, did you knock on the door, my friend? Uh, the door was open, my friend. Well, I mean, you still got to knock on the door. Very well. well, how could I knock on a door that's open? There's no, nothing you there. You knock right next to the door. Come on, man. What, what are you doing? Knock, here, anyway? What? Next to what door? Is there even oh, a door on, on there? Don't, don't try that. Don't try that. Anymore. There's not even a door here. What are you talking about? The main entry door. Oh, just, just don't try that with me, sir. Hmm. Look at all those plants there. Let's get those plans. Again, though, I'm not here for that information, but I can't control what I see. Right. However, if something does get on the background, I'm a nice guy. I'm not going to post someone's personal, like, home address or anything like that. Just so you know. Just to dispel that myth. It's right. kind, of, kind of hot in here. We should go. Yeah, I'm going to take off. All right, guys, we're going to hit up another uh, department here. Oof. Miguel gave us uh, the okay. He said he was going to let everyone know we're out here, but it's obvious he's not letting everyone know. Miguel was just over there having a meeting. No, that's not my guy. No, so which way do you want to go? I'll go a different way. This way. Looks like everybody may be out for lunch. See Michael just closed the door. Did you check this one? Let's hit zone two over here.
Uh, I'll pay his traffic here. Oof. Just got a call, but he's not saying anything. Okay. Uh, it's so hot out here. This is Steph parking. Everybody out to lunch? Okay, she just said, what the F are you doing, N-word? Sounds very confrontational. Let's go find out who she is. Let's be a name badge. Okay, I found our thumbnail. One more time. Action. Yeah, I will. It sounded like she said, what the F are you doing, Edward? Huh? Foul, foul, very foul. Let's see, license plate, 7PBJ090. Watch out. pictures and we're, we're I, I, if you promise not to tell anyone I, I'll tell you what we're doing right now and you give me that guarantee you guys want to see anything else they can help facilitate that or let so you don't want to okay, so you want I'm willing to let you know well she's over there yelling she's over there, there now outside of her car looks like she's blocking traffic that last vehicle had to go around her and the other employee she's talking to just to exit this little area right here. You know, public workers should maintain safety and priority. Let this vehicle pass right here. Got a little stop area, just rolled right through. Number one, three, eight, seven, four, seven, three. Just rolled through. I think that's a designated stop line right there. Policy for employees to follow. There he is.
Alright guys. Let's go make sure she's not calling the police or anything. Oh, well, she's blocking a school bus now. Parking in the entrance exit gate. Blocking traffic. I saw a vehicle have to go around her earlier. Uh, really not the right thing to do. Creating a safety hazard where safety should be our number one priority. Like she's still kind of blocking the entrance here. Got another vehicle coming. Just waiting for me. Uh, Michael, is this common practice for uh, cars parking out of parking spaces right here in the entrance exit way? We have two vehicles part impeding the flow of traffic. I know, I think it's watching us. Hey, there's the courthouse parking lot. We should go there next. I couldn't. Should we go? Try and bezel it. Oh, here's the Hayward Police Department right here. I guess he and she probably call their the other. Or well, they slowed and stopped really hard, squeaking their brakes. Shade, you know where there's some good shade back there? Ah, he took off. He's probably gonna circle back around. Alright, let me get in the shade. Whew! What's that? What is this for? For the cameras? Yeah. So they're for like, you record stuff, or you take pictures, or well, I know that, but document. Purpose of you mean why we're doing what we're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. We're just working on a story on the school district. On the, on the, on the, the district, the maintenance yard in general, you know, just kind of public building. No, we're just working on a story. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. If it was an audit though, brother, I tell you what, man, they're failing miserably. Really? Not you, but yeah. in general. Oh, no, I get it, I get it. You seem like a cool dude. Ah, yeah, man. You came over with a smile, that's how it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see a lot of stuff on YouTube. So oh, yeah, yeah. Man, keep doing what All right, brother, All right. take care. All right, thanks, Ron. All right, man. All right. All right, guys, see, when people approach us like that, nice, cordially, respectfully, I have no problem engaging with them. Yeah, I'm friendly. I'll, I'll say the, thank uh, the you. Flipping a song and all that stuff, guys. It's really hot, man. Yeah, my arms are kind of dark. I think it's asphalt. Oh, man. We got our thumbnail already, so we should be good. Uh, we'll finish up our story here in just a few moments. I don't think the police are coming. If they are, they're failing miserably because we're just around the corner, guys. Yeah. Uh, we got some more places to hit up. But yeah, you can see so far, uh, Miguel, Michael, they're actually failing at the job as well because they're not in the community. Miguel, too. We have a right to walk around and take pictures. And it almost seems like every employee that Michael or the superintendent or Miguel have talked to who have used vulgar or inappropriate behavior with the public, they're smiling in this conversation. Uh, doesn't really seem like it's much of a reprimand. It's more of like, well, they're, maybe the story's going like, they're just here to cause trouble, just ignore them. Instead of respecting them and doing the proper thing. Here comes the Hayward Police Department right here. Number 15173315. Go. Do me a favor, just go either 
that curb or the sidewalk while I talk to you? Oh no, I want to hear what's going on for my documentation purposes. Since you guys are here for us, we're part of the investigation. Okay. There's a vehicle behind you. Oh, we're not we're really talking, I'm just talking to you. Let's go here. You guys can go inside a secured room though. Yeah. See what's on the computer here. Suspicious person. Carly. Carly. You got your phone number, Carly. Whoever Carly is, we got their phone number. That would be both in a row. I don't think that could happen. Is it a twofer? Might be, but he lost the door lock? Alright. Twofer one. Is okay if we look inside real quick? One, five, two, nine, five, four, eight. The helicopter flying over. You're a sergeant. You have a gun. I can't prevent I'm you from not threatening you. anybody. I'm just no, trying I'm to. You're a big guy. I can't to, stop you from doing your job. I'm just trying to talk to him so we can figure this out. Okay. Gotcha. I'm but trying to figure out. Like you can touch it though, right? You can touch it all you want. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Just don't open it. I, well, I can just let you know. It, but if, if as long as I don't have criminal intent, no, I just no, want to take a look. I, okay. I am allowed though. But if it's unlocked, you cannot open. Of course I can. No, no. I'll prove you. Can unlock it and I'll open it. There's firearms in there. There's personal so, equipment. So then wouldn't you That's be the, like, No, listen, I hear what you're listen, saying, but wouldn't you, you be the, a, wouldn't you uh, be the one breaking policy then, leaving it unlocked with firearms? You think stone is falls on us. I think my, Michael we're gonna be is, disappointed. Uh, we're not gonna well, leave. Who's this lady? I keep seeing her walking back and forth. That might be Carla or whatever her name Car is. Uh, Carla? The one who called? No. Oh, this is Carla? Is it Carla on there? No. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, do you mind turning a little bit so I can get the ID? And action! And just so you know, Miguel, who's the supervisor of this lot, he actually said we could walk around here, so you may want to have him check with Miguel. Okay. And Miguel said he was going to inform everyone that the different departments here that were okay to walk around. So if people are, how do you say, getting a little uh, nervous, um, that's because he didn't inform them. So yeah. Just to let you know. Let, let me ask you Michael, you might want to tell the superintendent. Miguel's not doing his job. What, what, what are you guys looking to? to I can't disclose uh, personal uh, information, but we come in peace. Okay. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Well, you do understand that you're making people nervous by like harassing them, well, and following around with the cameras. So the thing, it's so like it's like it's it's bothersome. You wouldn't want if your wife worked at a place, right. somebody, some strange person with a camera follow them around and doing all this. this you're stuff. absolutely right. You'd be like, hey man, this is not cool. You're right. You're right. 100 percent of that. But here's the thing, I'm not walking around following people, okay. he's actually walking around following us. We're just taking okay. a tour of the general facility, we're looking okay. at each room, 10-15 seconds later, if everything's cool, we walk okay. out. Alright, did you At any up? point, why don't you ask him if he's ever once saw a stick of camera in someone's face. Okay. However, I have video footage of him, which I already talked to, spoke to his boss across the street, of him putting his hands on me. Okay. So if anything, he's the one that's harassing people. Okay. Alright. Um, so what are you looking to accomplish he here He called today? somebody from, I don't know if it's him or Carla okay. or whoever, but whatever your computer screen said, I'll review it later. But someone called the police, to accomplish armed men, today? because we're taking pictures. Okay. It's a Did camera. Did you get your pictures? Are you done? We're almost finished, yeah. Yeah. We're not going to be here long. It's hot, man. I'm a big guy. I'm sweating, like, I'm sweating bullets here. You can probably see that. I'm not going to be here long. Okay. Do you have a business card by any chance? I do. And do you have a business card, please? 
Nope. I don't have right here. Right here. Perfect. I met your cousin. Right here. How is that? Are you related to other right here's? One or two businesses. Hi, Baba. Yeah, thank you. One for each? Yep. Appreciate you. Yep. Yarbro. Thank you. And your badge number, please. 435. Thank you. Perfect. So then we have Sergeant Maloney. I'm not a rookie. I was wondering why you don't have to do that. Personally, I'm just saying, with uh, our, our I don't mind us, our, our tax dollars going to that. Yeah, they don't, I don't either, but they don't put the business cards in. Gotcha. We don't do that. That's you know? one of the things that we're slashed for the budget. Gotcha. So, minor thing. No, I hear you. I mean, you, you have, it's out of your control. I just feel like when there's office, and I know you, you don't have no control of it, you don't have control of it. I just feel like when you're interacting with members of the public, it's a nice thing to have. It's a nice tool, like, you know, ammunition to build that rapport, that bond. Michael, you might want to let this public employee is creating a public record right now. Tell her not to delete it because we could do a request for it. Freedom of Information Act, right? Take that under advisement. Right there, that employee right there. All right, the one guys, that, let's get everything out of the way. There's the one that was cur around. cursing at us, Michael. Those darn pesky guys with cameras, sticking cameras in people's faces. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Where do they get this information from? Nobody wants to take responsibility for their own actions. Wait, did you get her VIN number yet? Yeah. We gotta get that. Where is it? Yo. Yo. Stay the fuck away from me, man. Oh, uh, we could get. Yeah. Got some uh, paperwork back here. So far, the sergeant has been very respectful. All right. Hey, just remember to fasten your seatbelt when you leave. Yep. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. Oh, hey! Whoa, hey! What are you doing, y'all? This is my personal property. I'm out of here, police. Get, get him out of here. I did not touch anything. What are you talking about, Sergeant? She just grabbed my damn camera. I didn't touch anything. You know? And it's like you're trying to provoke a reaction. And it's like, and then when you get it, you know what? That's the, the reaction. Was she trying to provoke a reaction when she said, What the F are you doing? So when I was first up N word I up there. I, had, I was across the parking lot. And that's what she yelled at me. Was I trying to provoke? Well, you guys are coming. No, I don't think so. You guys are all right. A, a I give what I get, all right? And you just saw her grab my camera and, and you didn't seem it. to give a shit. You I, wanted to blame I, it on me. Listen, I turned around when uh, it was all done when I heard it, but you guys are going around purposely touching everything try, trying to provoke a response. I'm not touching my advice is just like just our, just, our, just, our, just our, you know, our public people. I understand your right to record. Absolutely. 100% do that, but you're trying to provoke a response. So just so you, I get again, it, you know, I know that's what it looks like because you no, just got here on scene. Yeah. But if you he actually look at the footage from one time we first got here, we were peacefully walking around. We weren't sticking cameras in faces. Okay. We weren't opening doors. We weren't going around touching stuff. Good. The Good. only reason I touched Good. that door is just to prove a point because you were like, hey, we can't touch it. Yeah. You know, that's the only reason I did it. So, well, you're, you're, you're Which, getting and, the and response just, and you're it's looking not, for. It's not criminal, just so you know, to open the door. It's, the onus falls on you to keep that door locked to keep members of the community safe from those weapons. Absolutely. Just so you know, though, right. if I happen to see it open and you're not here, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to lock it and close the door. Right on. Like I Thank did you. for the CHP. Thank you. Thank you. So. so there you have it, guys. Um, ADA was just attacked. Um, they're not going to do anything about it. They let the, the they let the criminal leave the scene. I'm going to see if I can get her name for Michael. I guarantee that if that would have been you or I, we'd probably be in handcuffs. We'd be on the ground. They'd have their boot on our neck. But when it's someone else, oh my lord, you're giving us ammunition, is what you're saying, especially from the beach. Other people are calling me. We, 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 we,
Remember who you work for. Let's not instigate, let's not antagonize the guy with the camera. Just do your fucking job, observe, let the sergeant do this. Yeah. And the only purpose in life right now is to make sure that you stay safe when it's back to two weeks. That's it. Not to open your mouth, not to give me a problem. Then do your fucking okay. job. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, yeah. We're good here. Okay. Goddamn private. Are you guys good? We're good. Do you need anything else from us? No, we're good. Okay. All right. Stickers? And I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll take I have, stickers. I actually do have stickers. Yeah. I used to, one of my favorite stickers was the, the Don't Drink and Drive. Now, Michael, can I get that employee's people. name? Who just grabbed my equipment and I don't know actually she peeves, broke I, it. I don't know her name. Yeah. Look how twisty um, it is. That's not supposed to twist like that. You don't know her name, but you sat there and conversated with her about cursing and saying the n-word. Are you being truthful, Michael? You're honestly one of the better names of every employee in the district. How could you hold a conversation with her and not ask her name? You're a public information officer. You would think you would have some useful information. So, a lot of times, you guys make security better in a way. We try. Because, like I was explaining to him, there's actually, technically, there's no signage that says you know do not enter you know no trespassing warnings no nothing so it's like your guys' viewpoint is doesn't say i can't go in right well that's what i'm saying so, they don't want us in here just put a sign it, exactly so and... so sometimes it, it tightens things up for for businesses and things like that get, get some better security and like i like and i mentioned better gates and then when i was in another building over there we're not here to get confidential information or expose confidential information but again as you know the owners falls on them to protect their information and the best way to get rid of us next time we come or someone else comes just say hello how are you ignore us give us a boring video give us boring content we'll probably be on our way in 15 minutes i'm serious it's sounds boring because uh, honestly you can go find somebody else that you can hook exactly. into because it happens but we do we do go around testing rice that's what it's about Absolutely. i actually kind of the reason i was doing the door test right now obviously you guys are here you're not going to let me go do something you know foul sure. but we caught a chp over in san jose leaving his door unlocked, going inside a building. It was right near a homeless, you know, oh, okay. encampment or whatever. But, you know, I don't, I don't engine know. running, too. Engine running. Yeah, I'm not going to say, okay, they're going to do anything, but there was a lot of people, is what I'm saying, around that vehicle. He went all the way inside. He had, like, I don't know, it looked like some type of automatic weapon going in the middle there. Michael, and quit trying to get out of the shop, man. Get right in, in, right right in there. Locked. I probably could have gotten away with it. I locked the door, did the right thing. I informed their sergeant when he came out, and they said, it's, yeah, it's definitely against their policy, but it was more sure. for, like, because I was going to leave, yeah. I know I didn't feel comfortable leaving with that door open. Well, Our cars are yeah, okay. do have the technology in them to because uh, the cars have to keep running when they're stopped for our well, equipment. So it'll drain the battery. It take so we have the technology. We have a switch in there that uh, that disables it, so to speak. Okay. So we take the keys. I was in one more leave it, but it stays running. But if you put it in drive without the keys, it dies. It's kind of like our yeah regular so, cars. So they have little uh, gets yep. away from the ignition switch. Yeah, exactly. But you know, I, I wasn't worried about the vehicle. I was worried about the well, watch yourself. Weapons. Watch yourself behind you. The weapons is what we're worried about. Yep, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I mean, you can only get so far. And my personal stuff. We got personal stuff. That's true too. You know what I'm saying? That could be replaced by someone. You know, like remember the Gilroy incident? You know mm -hmm. that. Could, you know that's that's absolutely. a sad yep. situation. And that's the reason why we go and test these things. For example, the VTA mass shooting in uh, was it 21, I believe, where nine people got shot. When we yeah, when we go to like courthouses, it's funny. You know, when we go to like Nevada, they let us walk around the court building. When we go to California, they have no transparency. They don't want to let you pass anything. They'll, they'll make us go through metal detectors, they'll check us, they want to see your ID. And then they let all the staff members just walk right past it. Now look at the VTA, that's a perfect example. It was a staff member who did that shooting, not a member of the public, yeah, yeah, well, a staff member. So if, you, if you're going to make us go through that, in my opinion, everybody should go through it. You know, that's, that's what we're testing. Alright, I think we're cool. We're cool? Okay. I don't know, are we cool? No more handsy with us? Not going to put your hands on me anymore? I, 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 to, to be completely honest with you, I think as long as you guys are here, they're not cool with it, but it is what it is. Exactly. So, um, but they're they're going to do some follow-up stuff. and They can, you know, uh, like, I'll, I'll protect them, so. I don't know who's in charge as far as making the, the decisions, whether it's the city manager, the supervisor of this facility, whatever. But, yeah, just get some signs. Private property, no trespassing, staff only with a penal code. You know, like, I think it's like PC 604 or whatever it is. 602. 602. 602L. L. 602 yeah. L. Put that under there so it's official, not just something they printed up, you know, from home or something yeah. or made in Cran. Yep. And get an official <laughs> sign there. And now if we go over there, they now have grounds to remove us. Sure. It's that simple. Yep. But again, what's the difference of us recording a vehicle over there or coming out? We can still get their vehicle. Yeah, exactly. You know, yep. so yep. that's not what we're here it's for. It's open to the public. It's got nothing to hide, so. 
Okay, I think, I, the, I think the bottom line is it just it it really makes people nervous, especially in this day and age. You know, it seems like the world's you know, going with crazy. World, with the Vietnam War, World yeah. War II, World War One, Korea. Korea. Yeah. And today's day and age, everything's crazy. It is. So uh, people are on edge. People are nervous. So this type of behavior is not normal. You know what I'm saying? You, you know that because well, if of, you not, know the response. Well, I hear you, but tell me from. this. I've had about three or four staff members ask us, "Are you guys First Amendment auditors?" It seems like it must be pretty normal if they know what we're doing. Yet they're well, still, for, to yet some, they're yeah. still they must have gotten a memo or an email some, or something. Some, or maybe watch the is, video. Um, but not to all. And even if they know your first first amendment auditors, I think. It, and let me ask you this: When's the last time? You, and I, I'm sure it's confidential. I'm sure the government doesn't let us know every little aspect of every detail of every attack. But when's the last time that you know of that someone went around like 9/11 or something like you say in today's day and age, walked around in broad daylight? Knowing the police is just the department is right around the corner, like a block away, with video cameras and cameras everywhere recording what they're doing before they do it. I just don't see that happening. I mean, it could happen. I don't know, remember that old show, like America's Dumbest Criminals? I've seen criminals rob stores with their name tags, but. But if you think about it, that. people are generally just in fear for even smaller type crime. They're just fear for their own safety. Can you imagine how scary it must be, though, if they go to Disneyland or the Boardwalk or Great America, knowing that people are taking selfies all the time? The world must be a scary place, It brother. seemed to me like it was less fear and more aggression about. and so, maybe bruised uh, egos that we were inside there recording as opposed no, to fear. I can't those kind of personal questions. I'm, I'm just asking. Cause Not it, today. Because I'd, be, I'd actually be curious to see how it goes over there. Not today. Honestly, I'd be like, oh, I want to see how, how our guys deal with this. Well, so I know we've, had a, we've had a few over the last few months, but I don't know if you guys were have been over there. but. But feel free. A good um, police do, officer do should thing. have no issues with someone recording. That's why I say feel free. The ones free. that come um, at us are the ones we're, we gotta be scared of. We're definitely, we're just, we're right across the street and um, you guys can do your thing and, and hopefully um, our professional staff do the right thing. All right. And I would hope so, for sure. So. When you get back in that vehicle, can you promise me you're gonna keep sensitive information secured and your vehicle secure, especially if you have Absolutely. weapons in there? Absolutely. Thank you. Yep. And your seat That's our policy. Excellent. Okay, anything else? Just do, like Excellent. I said, next time you guys have a meeting with upper man, up early, like the chief or whatever, I know, like you said, it's budget cuts, but I'd really like to see officers walking around. I know they got the big name, you know, embroidered on there, which does, it's a lot better than some. The problem is where it's super small and it's, it's the wrong reflection, you can't see it. But it, it would be nice to have those business cards readily available for members of the public. When they have Take those encounters, yep. let them know members of the community are asking that. Absolutely. All right, guys. Appreciate All you. All right, you guys be safe. And uh, 147. Do the right thing. Yes, 147. 147. What was he? 435. 435. Hey, no pun intended, but you guys are dismissed. Let's get back to We're work. Dismissed. Okay. No more wasting resources. Right, we other calls to get to. There so. you go. I'm sure more things that are more important than the guy with the camera. Yeah, but if it's, Fighting real crime. if it's important to them here, then it's important for us. Gotcha. So, okay? I appreciate it. All right. You guys be safe. Please just do the right thing. Treat well, we others how you would want to be treated. Okay, that's that's the bottom line. Yeah, like, don't so, put people, don't put your hands on people. Yeah. Don't call people names. Don't flip them off like they. Some of their staff was giving us the bird. I know, I know. But don't yeah. curse at people. Tradition, don't call them the n word. Don't piss in the um, wind. Don't eat yeah. in the snow. Don't, don't grab their equipment and break it. Traditionally, a, a lot of the first it. amendment auditors are, are very aggressive, and so when, when people find out who you are, they're automatically on defense. So they automatically, you know, like like a lot of people, what are these treat us in a, in a certain way because of preconceived notions right right so it's the same thing with you guys so um just be safe do the right thing be a good person all right don't step on anyone's okay. neck don't yeah, uh, right. don't shoot him in the back exactly. don't don't, don't, don't sleep with your partner's all, wife all don't piss stuff. in the cheerios all stuff. Yep. Yep. yeah yeah all, the all right don't. great okay guys don't beat your yeah. wife don't no, kick guys. the dog don't do it. careful don't, don't do trip it. now don't 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 do it all right so what's we're good next? now right what's next <clears throat> How far are you? I mean, we arched here. Yeah. Michael, water. do you need some water? Can you call one of your uh, office mates to bring us some water? And I we have not get to opened the next this yet. If you'd like it, you can. Oh, have that's it. so nice. I that. I really sure, know. it's not open. No. I, you can see the sale. I'm not messing with you. All right, bro. I'm not joking. I'll take well, it. I thought you already had one. All right, well, I mean, if you're <laughs> offering it to him, you must be offering it to me too. That's true. Uh, well, hey, he took time out of his schedule to consume resources and follow us. Let's give him water. Well, he didn't want it. All right, there you have it, folks. The Hayward Unified School District. We got Michael here, the public information officer. Our shadow been following us out about these different offices and this maintenance and operations yard. Uh, the police were called. Michael wanted a full explanation of 
why we were in our right to have, be out here and record. They viewed the signage and I guess the sergeant informed them that they were well within their rights to film. Here we go. He just, there's a sergeant giving us some stickers. All right. Perfect. We see some kids out there. We'll give them to them. All right. We got the Blue Line gang member uh, symbol here. We got Yarball here. He was a little feisty, though. Vehicle 255265 Hayward PD. They are dismissed. Back to work. I'm sure they have more important things to do than bother people with cameras. So here comes the victory lap here. We got Michael the Shadow following us. Uh, they called the police. I believe it was that one that grabbed my camera. Called the police. I have to go back and check the footage, but she was vulgar to begin with as well. Um, Yeah, so basically I guess the cops came out here and informed Michael of what kind of signage they should put on the building. You know, to keep the public out, which I don't know why they would. They should be transparent. Let's see here. We got this vehicle, no front license plate. Oh, you're, who are you looking for? Maybe I can help you. I'm not talking to you on camera. I'm not oh. quite sure what you're doing, but... Well, you look a little confused. You might want to ask someone. <laughs> I'd ask why you're recording me for number one. Okay. I know there's office if you're looking for the Project H's down there. Look for somebody who's in charge of the buses. Oh, Miguel. Miguel. Miguel? Yeah, he's the supervisor down there. Michael, Michael, Michael. Yeah, he's not ignoring me. Well, he's the public information officer. Oh. But Miguel, he's he's out uh, in there. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, Oh, I thought he was right here. You know that? I see that lady walking around doing a lot of nothing. She might know. Uh, you know it might be lunch time. Let's see. Let's check if he's in here. No.
All right, everybody, that was Hayward Unified School District, and as you saw, it all started with one fire starter who called the police saying that she felt threatened for her safety, and at one point, I believe she started to fake cry. And it escalated with another public employee using foul language and grabbing my camera and breaking my camera holder. And it continued with a Hayward sergeant claiming he didn't see the whole ordeal, but he wanted to claim that I was touching her property. So go figure. If you work for the government, you basically get a free pass to assault the public. Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And definitely go check out Anthony X's channel. This is Angry Vet Audits, out.